And now, ladies and gentlemen, Don't Tell Mama is proud to present... Wait a minute. Is it Alan Tulin or Al Tulane? When I was a kid, I loved singing show tunes and frolicking naked. My hair was black. I entered grade seven at four foot eleven, determined not to look back. My little face beaming, the dreams I was dreaming were sure to propel me to soaring heights. Now almost retired, say, what is required to see my name up in lights? It was a production of The Music Man starring the incomparable Robert Preston, and I saw it. And it was unbelievable. And that moment, right before 76 trombones, he pulls off his sport coat, he flips it inside out, he puts it back on, and he turns into the leader of a marching band. And it was amazing to me. And I, I kind of knew in that instant that I had to do that, and I had to be that. And I was determined to get myself from that dark spot in the balcony into that spotlight down stage center. On the other side of the tracks, that is where I'm going to be. On the other side of that great divide between fame and fortune and me. Gonna put my shadows behind me, keep my inhibitions the axe. And tomorrow morning you'll find me on the other side of the tracks. <laughs> West Arch High School proudly presents the roar of the grease paint, the smell of the crowd. And in the lead role, Alan Tulin. <laughs> Stand well back, I'm coming through. Nothing can stop me now. So one day I see this ad and it pops out at me and it says, looking for talent for a midday, midtown variety show, pay. This moment in time, this right time of day. Oh, I love being with you and watching my life at play. My love in your eyes is lighting my dreams. And the colors you choose have touches of blues and greens. Now it was around then that I got a call to audition for a new, a new toy that was being launched. And the toy was called Gripple, G-R-I-P-P-L-E. It was, was kind of like a flat Rubik's Cube. And um, the idea was that you had to organize these colorful, happy, little cheerful buttons, red, blue, yellow, and green, and move them around and make sense out of it. And they, they didn't know if it was a game or a puzzle, so they wanted a, a kooky, you know, silly voice. So I did a voice like, um, It's Gripple. It's a great new puzzle. It's really a game. I mean, it's a great new game that's really a puzzle. I never get it right, but you can get it. Get Gripple. So, so they hire me to do these voiceover commercials. So they turn me into Mr. Gripple, and I'm traveling around the country and up at FAO Schwartz, and I'm doing demos, and there was all this, this press, all this stuff. That's, that's the Gripple. Turns out there had been a massive recall because the colorful little buttons were popping off and getting caught in children's windpipes. And nobody cared enough to tell Mr. Gripple. And now, as I peer through the haze, I see pals from my Emerson days. Here's to you, all the girls and the gays. Suffice it to say, I finally found a way to entertain and be a star that day. When that little kid sat in the balcony at the Paper Mill Playhouse, just dreaming about a life performing. Oh, man. He had no idea of the, the dicey and spicy journey that awaited him. I sliced my slice of life a little thin. I've been on the outside looking in.
It's another song from my hero, Jerry Herman. And I did get to meet him. It was at the box office of the Martin Beck. Well, now it's the Hirschfeld. And I had just gotten some tickets for Kiss Me Kate. And I thought the place was empty until I heard a little voice say, two for Jerry Herman, please. And there he was. And I waited for him to finish his transaction. And then I approached him and I said, excuse me, Mr. Herman. I just have to thank you for all of the joy you've given me and, and the whole world. Your Broadway. Look at that crowd up ahead. Listen and hear that brass harmony growing. When the whistles blow, and the cymbals crash, and the sparklers light the sky. Hello? Oh, how awful! Tomain poisoning? When can I be there? Before the parade! 